I mean, I just want to kick off with getting you to walk us through the benefits of investing in Bitcoin at this point, because um, I tend to think of this as like the bad boyfriend. It gets you extremely emotional. It's up, it's down. How do you play this? Hadley, the important thing is that Bitcoin's heart is in the right place. So, you know, there is always up and ups and downs in any relationship. But ultimately, it's about horizons. It's about time perspective. And on whatever long term scale you take a look at Bitcoin, it's outperforming any other asset. And I don't see any reason why this trend should uh, discontinue at this stage. The macroeconomic environment uh, remains, you know, <clears throat> with the printing machines working around the clock. Uh, there's a fight for scarce asset and, you know, everything is in Bitcoin favor still. There are a lot of investors out there that are saying that the price gains that we're seeing in Bitcoins being driven by speculation. You think that it will hit 100,000 by the end of the year. Explain the rationale behind that call on Bitcoin, which is currently sitting at 53,000. I made a call for $50,000 when Bitcoin was trading around $6,000. My rationale uh, back then was the macroeconomic environment and the fact that Bitcoin is a better version of gold. And I made the case that if it only captured 10% of uh, gold's uh, total market cap, it would be at $50,000. Uh, I see it go in the next 12 uh, to 18 months to 100 k for the simple reason that we are in a stage where this is predominantly still a institutionally driven rally. We haven't yet seen the retail come as strong as would be indicative of a, a, a top. And last but not least, Bitcoin has gotten to a stage where it's now an investable asset because it has reached the, the one trillion threshold. And there are a lot of entities, institutions, pension funds that are even not allowed to uh, uh, invest in anything that has a market cap uh, below one trillion. So a lot of new players coming in taking the lead from Elon Musk, MicroStrategy, and some of the guys that we have already seen entering crypto.